All right, so combining aggregate results into calculations, how many did not provide their school information? Okay, so let's have a look here. We can do select count star as num without schools. Okay, now what do I mean by which ones did not provide their school information? Well, if we have again, I'm just scrolling up here and getting my select star from account and I just close that but we can open it just for a minute if you have a look again anybody who didn't provide school information will have null values right here 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 I believe that adds up to five and if I have a look I don't see any other nulls so we're right now expecting to get five back this, that'll be our proof that we got it right from our sample data anyway um, so if we do this we could just get a count of everything it's 30 but what we really want to do is where um, uh, ACK school uh, is null. Okay. And I think I've mentioned this before, I hope I've mentioned this before, but null is a very special value and it doesn't work on any mathematical operators. It has its own special operator is that goes in place of equals. If you said ACK school equals null, you would get zero because it wouldn't match anything. Null doesn't equal to any value. So if you want it to be is null, it needs this is operator. It's just a special way that things work. Okay. We can also do it in just uh, another way here. We can also go with select count star. Now, what we could do is find out how many um, how many uh, people have actually registered their schools and this is where I'm going to show you this bit of convolutedness which is why I recommend using uh, the count star all the time. If we do count act school so our count school um, so num with schools okay, from account we should get 25 because we have 30 records and we know that five of them don't have schools, right? So we have 25, that's good. Why do we get 25? Because when we're counting columns, it doesn't count the null values, which is why it's kind of a dangerous idea to use a column at all if you don't know what you're doing. Now, if we wanted the reverse of that, we would just have to do count star minus count x school. So we can put two aggregates on the same uh, on the same line in the same column and use math, math, math on it. So it just depends on the order of operations, right? So we run that. It's a five. We're good. 